All right, get ready for a tech treat, because following today's tech update, we're going to be showcasing a standout call for my weekend show. It's called The Kim Commando Show, of course. We're hearing from the first groups of students whose schools over the summer banned smartphones, and the reaction is not what most expected. I'm Kim Commando for ExpressVPN. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Kim. Florida and Indiana were the first states to ban student cell phones in classrooms. Parts of California have followed, and New York is about to, along with Minnesota, Ohio, Virginia, Arizona, Utah, Washington State, Rhode Island, and Oklahoma. Now that school is in session, here are the typical student reactions. Improved focus, more family time, more real person-to-person interactions. And this one is especially important, less anxiety. That's a direct result of less smartphone addiction. School administrators expect to see less bullying, too. 46% of all teens say that they're on their smartphone, quoting now, almost all day. The strong pull to check social media has been removed. Is it time for your school to follow the leaders and do the same? Sign up for my free newsletter at GetKim.com. Hey. Have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. All right, here's a fantastic call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. That's a highlight reel right inside itself. Kay in State College, Pennsylvania. Hi there, Kay. Um, One of my questions is, uh, if I were to get a new car, um, would you use your telephone for navigation or would you um, pay to have the navigation as part of the car package? I would use my phone. Okay. And just hook my phone into my car using uh, Apple CarPlay or if I'm an Android, mm-hmm. the Android Play system. And because there, there's no reason to pay for a manufacturer's navigation system when I already have that built into my phone. And mm-hmm. with the Apple CarPlay, for example, is that it's not only brings in my navigation into the whole uh, onboard infotainment system. But I also have my text messages that I can respond to while I'm driving by just saying, hey, Siri, you know, reply with this. Uh, You have your music, you have your contacts and uh, all kinds of great things like that. Okay, that's that's interesting. I had thought about not having navigation in my car because I've always had that until Somebody mentioned it recently, um, and um, when we travel to Europe, I t- take along a Garmin, and I buy an SD card for the, you know, the area we're going to, sure. uh, you know, so there's ways around it. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm curious what Kim thinks about that. Well, you know, if you do go to Europe next time, you don't necessarily need to bring the GPS and the SD card and all that other stuff, is that when you are in the hotel, wherever you are, you have free Wi-Fi or you're on the Wi-Fi. Uh, Mm -hmm. is that you will go say, how do I get from point A to point B, whether it's on car, bus, train, whatever it may be. And then you can, whether you're on Google Maps or now Apple Maps, is that you can download all these maps for what's called offline use. And offline use is just that, that you're not going to be using the expensive cellular plan or data roaming charges or whatever it may be when you're not in the country. And it's going to be solely giving you that map as if you were offline, and so you're not using an internet connection for that. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. My other question is, and you touched briefly on it, is um, how safe are the password saving apps? I do use one. I use one password. Um, I, I'm a uh, addicted to it, I guess, at this point, or used to it, or don't would never want to give it sure. up. But it's concerning. Uh, how safe are the these password apps? Um, you know, we took a look at the various password saving apps. We looked at One Password, LastPass. There's KeePass. There's you know, there just seems to be a whole bunch of them out there. Dashlane, whatever it may be. Uh, we actually settled on not One Password. We settled on Keeper Security. Uh, we found it to be better, more robust. Uh, you can also easily share passwords. You can put this as part of your state documents, good things like that. You know, they are safe. You have to make sure that you have a good, solid password management program. Never want to use one for free, okay? That's just bad news. Uh, you want to be able to pay for this. 
And uh, that's where we settled on Keeper Security. So if you go to keepersecurity.com slash Kim, you can get uh, 50% off. They have personal family plans as well as enterprise level plans, by the way. Uh, but, you know, as for me, I use Keeper Security. It's the one that uh, that, that I recommend. Uh, and it's the one that I would hope that you'd be using too. And again, that's keepersecurity.com slash Kim. And uh, once again, your deal is you get 50% off. A standing ovation to you for tuning in. Yay! Now, if you're puzzled by a tech issue, here's your call to action. Head to commando.com, select email Kim. I read each and every note like it's the final round in a tech trivia game. And you can amp up your tech know-how by getting my free daily newsletter. It's just waiting for you over at getkim.com. 